Hello everyone, my name is CM Sharma and in this video uh, I'm going to tell you about the VUCA world and how to get through this VUCA world. Uh, basically the times we which we are living in is a world which is characterized by an acronym that we call as VUCA, V-U-C-A. V stands for the world is volatile, U stands for uncertain, C stands for complex, and A stands for ambiguous. The world which we are living in is volatile, uncertain, complex, and it is ambiguous. So what does this all mean and how to get through? Uh, this book of world in this video i'm going to give you a mantra by following which you can get through the book of world so first let's understand what does this term VUCA means volatile means uh, if you whether uh, you are a, a student you are an a businessman or you are a professional the things are very volatile, means something which is today may not exist tomorrow. The profession you are into may cease to exist tomorrow. The business you are doing today may not exist tomorrow. So in this scenario, you need to uh, deal with volatility. So how can you deal that? So I'll give you some uh, a kind of mantra to deal with that and uh, U stands for uncertainty suppose you cannot predict or you cannot plan for the future because there is so much uncertainty even if you are doing job then it is not sure whether the profile you are working on is going to exist uh, in next five to ten years so it is very difficult to be certain about future. And C stands for complex. Um, the situation is turning more complex. The things are becoming more complex. And uh, uh, because it could be due to the technology, due to the uh, other factors, the rivals uh, are taking our having cutthroat competition to take an edge over the competitors. So it is making the entire situation very complex and ambiguous. The life for everyone is full of ambiguity. Ambiguity means whether to decide on a particular course of action, to decide on a particular business, to take decisions, it is not very clear to take decisions. So the, the, the world is full of ambiguities. And how to resolve this? So uh, for this, you can, uh, you can follow a process which will mm, increase your chances to spur in this book of art, and it will also improve enhance the chances of your success in this book of old. The first step towards it, the involvement. You need to involve yourself continuously. You cannot just sit down and just wait for the things to take place the way they are. But you need to, in, you need to continuously involve. You need to uh, play the role of a watchman. If even if you are a profession professional, then you need to have a close watch that what is ha happening around your profession. If you are a business, then you need to have a close watch to look around what is happening uh, <clears throat> to your business. And the second step or the second mantra you can take uh, as, as a step to get through this book of world is evolve. So if, if you're doing good uh, in your business, you have just started 
uh, new business and you are earning lots of money or you are doing good in your profession, you are doing good in your job, then uh, whatever point you are uh, on, you need to evolve. You need to uh, look for the growth because you cannot rest on your hours and uh, because uh, if if even if you are doing good in your profession in your business and the growth is it, it is not uh, in a positive direction then your business or your job uh, can be in luck so whatever point you are always try to evolve always try to grow so that is the second point uh, by which you can get over this book about and the third point is resolve so whatever complexities whatever challenges you are do not lose hope do not lose patience because it is happening everywhere it is happening with your rivals as well so you are not the one who is facing this book about so uh, you need to resolve the complexities which are around you maybe at personal level, maybe at business level, or maybe at some other levels. So you need to continuously develop the habit of resolving things. And the fourth point is dissolve. So it is devolve. So you need to devolve the things because uh, if you are into a profession or doing something else, if you continuously uh, invest your entire energy in uh, involvement, in involvement, and then the resolution of the things, then definitely uh, uh, it will consume a lot of your time, energy, and other things. So over a period of time, if you develop a sort of moral or if you find new practices, then you should learn how to how to devolve your uh, your work or responsibilities basically devolving means to transfer or to uh, to delegate the tasks you are doing so you find out the solution of something there were some challenges you just uh, got through those challenges and now it is the time to delegate what you have done so that it can become a practice and you can again involve in finding out new threats so this is very important uh, you need to uh, devolve the things so first step is involve so whatever profession you are whatever business you are doing you need to have the continuous involvement into that business the second point is evolve so if you're doing a business so whatever point you are you should always try to expand you should always try to grow as an individual or as a business. So whatever you are into, so you need to have evolution. And third point is resolve. So whatever is happening around, remember that if there is a problem, there is a solution. Go find that. So you need to resolve those things which are around you, no matter how complex they seem, but at least try to find out the solution of the problems you are surrounded with. And if you find out the solution, then uh, you should explore the new, uh, uh, new, new sort of uh, problems and uh, you should delegate the solutions to others so that you can again involve, evolve and resolve. So this is a mantra to overcome this book of all and to be successful in this book of all thank you